think of Baja, California, and you think of beaches, kite surfing, swimming with whale sharks. But in today's video, we leave the touristic coastline and head into the mountains. Well, I never thought when we woke up this morning, we'll be on roads like this, my sweetness. Where we think we found our own piece of paradise. Welcome back. And over the last couple of weeks, we've been hanging out here on this beach in this lovely villa with a swimming pool, although it was a little bit too cold to go in. And uh, as you know, in the last episode, we've been babysitting a friend's dog. Ever is back. <laughs> I love that you <laughs> said babysitting. <laughs> did you actually? I did say that. That's probably what it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> My little baby. You're reunited once more. Yes. And I gotta say, you guys took such good care of him. Oh. That he, you know, he even gained a little bit of weight. Which He's looking nice. a little chubby. Yeah. <laughs> you say that dogs are like their owners. <laughs> Uh, we sort of had him for a while, so he sort of em he emulated us. I don't think there's anything wrong with putting weight on over Christmas. We all do it. And we haven't even given him naughty treats, but I think because Eva's like super fit and goes running with him and everything else, Chris and Marianne, we don't do that. Um, so he's had the same amount of food and probably not so much running. <laughs> He had a holiday, basically. He had a holiday. He had a Christmas holiday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Eva's back okay, and uh, we're all going to hit the road. We're going to do a little road trip down uh, further south into the mountains. We found a little place to hang out for a few days. Yay! Yeah, so I think we're ready to hit the road. And that means we don't have to say goodbye to Vilk just yet. Yeah! Yeah, we get to keep Vilk for a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> I love that even though Trudy has been still for a couple of weeks, that she starts first time. She does. She's a good girl. It's always funny being in, uh, in a house when you're not in a van because we're not used to it. We don't very rarely go out of Trudy. So the drive today is a couple of hours south, probably about two and a half hours south of where we are. We've got to get diesel and we've got to find a, a water centre to fill Trudy up with water. So we're just on the outskirts of La Paz and uh, oh, there's a guy on a horse. <laughs> Coming into La Paz, they've got this great big statue of a whale's tail because the, uh, the coastline here has excellent marine life. And uh, one of the things to do whilst you're here in La Paz is to go and uh, snorkel with whale sharks. And that is definitely something we will do during our time here in Baja. Got a few familiar sites from the US. You got Walmart, Sam's Club, Home Depot, the uh, La Paz and this sort of area of Baja is uh, one of the main sort of holiday destinations from people from the, uh, the US. Right, we've pulled up at the uh, Agua place. Yeah. That's working. We made a funnel out of a Coke bottle. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> Change of plan. We've got the hose going. Okay, here comes Trudy's turn. So he's making Trudy uh, an extension on the hose to fit through so it can go so it can go in there. <laughs> Oh, Maybe a bit more. Oh, yeah. Ah! Well, we're we'll shout. Ah! <laughs> I love everybody's reaction to Bill because he's only nine months old and he's a puppy, and everyone's like, nine months? Nine months? Yeah. He doesn't look nine months. <laughs> okay. All good. Although now we're facing this way and Eva's facing the other way, so we've got to do a quick U turn. I 
I love the fact that driving around La Paz, there is a cup wall walking down the road. <laughs> I'm loving Mexico so far. The road surface is uh, quite bumpy down uh, this part of Mexico. Trudy's steering block is rattling a little bit. Yeah, but what we'll have to do is order the part, get it sent to a relative in San Diego, and get it fitted there. Or when we get to Japan, they must have some of the best mechanics in the world because it's like the main, you know, car industry place. Driving down, and there is cows walking down the road. Is there a shepherd with them? This no, they're just roaming. They're just free. Hey, cows. <laughs> I love that. We haven't seen that uh, cows on the road since Georgia. Country Georgia, not the state. The place we're heading uh, looks beautiful. She's just sent us a, a link and the, uh, the directions on Google just in case we get separated because some of these traffic lights and the traffic is very easy to lose each other. And the four-way stops, she'll go across, but we can't automatically follow behind her because somebody else got to the four-way stop before us, so. I love how you're just coming down the road and then there's just a couple of random bollards with guys working with no warning signs whatsoever. We're just starting to come into the uh, edge of the mountains now. The landscape's changed. It's all hilly, beautiful. The sun's trying to come out and uh, we've still got about an hour and a half to go. El Trinfo. Oh, that's a lovely church. Look at that. Flags as well. Ah, oh, that's Very amazing. Oh, look, people sat outside relaxing. Yeah. Wow, the views have really opened up now. You can see for absolutely miles. We're just heading along these mountain roads, and uh, you go round the corner, and suddenly come to a cow stood by the side of the road so you've got to have your wits about you to make sure you don't come and see one that stood there looking at you as you come around the corner. The landscape's changed slightly. The vegetation, there's still cactuses but they're surrounded now by lots of trees which uh, around where we've been staying it's been much more drier. <laughs> Getting waves as people drive past, that's nice. Mexico so far has been super, super friendly. Everybody smiles and says hi. Um, so yeah, we're really, really enjoying our time here in, uh, in Baja so far. Every single river has a dry bed. Wow. I can't imagine that full of water, but it definitely looks like it should be a river. So we just got another peak of the uh, coastline here as we're coming over the mountains. It's, uh, it's very, very beautiful and uh, we're looking forward uh, over the coming weeks to really explore all the little towns and uh, try lots of local food and uh, just enjoy the warmth over winter that we've got down here in Baja. There's a little bit of water in that river. That is the first one I think in Baja we've seen with any water in it. It might only be an inch. It's beautiful. Isn't it? Okay, so we're turning off the main road. Uh, we're just arriving in the town of Santiago and we're heading to the mountains. You can see the view in front is very mountainous. That's where, uh, that's where we're heading in that direction. Trudy's getting rattled again. But the view is amazing. The, uh, so many palm trees down there. 
and there's a little bit of a lake. It looks, uh, it looks like a bit of an oasis. Okay, we've lost Emma. We're getting vibrated a bit. Oh my goodness, washboard roads. They're the worst. Sorry, Auntie Julia. She made me promise I wouldn't do this to Trudy again. <laughs> Just coming in the back. <laughs> the drawer's shaking open. My goodness. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Naughty dog. We don't like the van. They're all chasing, They're all chasing us. The sand is actually pretty deep by the sides of the road here. And uh, Trudy is a two wheel driver. It's not great in sand. So we're trying to stick to the middle of the road where it's more washboardy. <laughs> At least I get traction on the washboards. Wow, that's some cattle grid, love. We big hole in the middle. Eva, if you're watching this, <laughs> come on a little drive with me, she said. <laughs> We're gonna have fun, she said. The roads will be fine, she said. <laughs> She's gone, we say. <laughs> Her vehicle's definitely much better on these washboard roads, that's for sure. And you're having flashbacks at Georgia. There is a river running across the road next to a, a shed drop. What well, the roads are just very similar. <laughs> and the washboards and the mud and the dust. It's quite, they've got all these massive rocks by the side of the road. I like the way we both looked up, like, <laughs> where did they come from? I come from up there. There's a couple of really big ones perched up there. This road is epic. This road is amazing. Wow, so beautiful. And if you're wondering what I can see from the driver's spot, look at that road. That is just literally the most magnificent road. And you can see the soft sand right there at the front on the side of the road. So I'm just keeping in, I'm about two foot. And rocks. <laughs> About a foot rocks behind. hanging over the side there. Right, let's go. How far we got to go? We've got 17 minutes, 11 kilometers left. <laughs> it's so narrow. <laughs> it's where you don't want to meet anybody. Lovely road. I love these kind of roads. This is adventurous. This is what we do it for. This is amazing. Off the beaten path, people. The road less travelled. Car just came flying around the corner. Didn't slow down at all. How rude. <laughs> There's a few horses. They're not tethered, are they? Are you tethered? Oh, yeah. you're only young. Hey, aren't you beautiful? Yes, I'm in an ice cream van in England. <laughs> but we have no carrots, I'm afraid. You're probably looking at us like, what are they doing? Well, I never thought when we woke up this morning we'd be on roads like this, my sweetness. I had absolutely no idea. Look at this. This is wild. I love these kind of roads. With the sheer drop off. And those vultures up there circling around, obviously waiting for us mishaps. To die. <laughs> waiting for us to go off the edge. Are the river's flowing. Yeah, that's not, not much, but there is a bit of water flowing down there, but we are high up. There must get some rain up there. I can, I can hear the water running. Okay, we should be nearly there. Let's have a look. Yes, there's Eva. Odyssey is there. You have arrived. How you doing guys? Hello. <laughs> we made it. 
slowly. Trudy is nice and slow. How you doing? Good. You good? Yeah. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Crazy dog. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this is a a spot that um, Eva's friends recommended, and uh, it's a it's a a couple that own this farm, and they let overlanders come and stay. How nice is that? There's a German overlander there. So we're parking up in this little area here. Good morning. Well, wasn't this just the perfect spot to sleep last night? We actually arrived, we had so much fun. We all sat down and talking. Didn't pick up the camera once. So we'll show you around today and introduce you to everybody. That's Ever and Vilks in there. And uh, this is our other friends. This is their Troopy. They're uh, traveling around in that. What a cool vehicle. This uh, spot up here in the mountains is absolutely amazing. Look, there's a little cold punch plunge pool. I haven't been in that yet. How cold is that? I reckon that's freezing this time of year. Oh my goodness. That's not for the faint hearted love. <laughs> and then we've got this communal kitchen here. And Cody's making fresh coffee. Yay! There you go, guys. Fresh Meet coffee. Cody. That's Cody. Hello, hello. There's Olivia. And uh, their YouTube channel is called G'day Jambo. Yep. Australian they... and African influence in the name. Yep. Jambo is our Land Cruiser and 37-year-old uh, Land Cruiser truck carrier. It's a very cool looking vehicle. So yeah, this is we made pizzas here last night and we had so much fun cooking and eating that we didn't actually film making them. Look <laughs> at that face. Aww. It reminds me of River from Overlanding Sophia. It yeah. Cute, but with those little ears. <laughs> and like all content creators, everybody sat working this morning. <laughs> Laptop, world. Laptop world. They've got these uh, hummingbird feeders in the trees here. You can see all the hummingbirds coming down and getting their little bit of breakfast this morning. You just don't get bored of looking at these little birds. This lovely communal area here. And then they've got this huge grass area. It's just tucked away in the mountains. Um, Isabel and Clarence, the owners who took over this property, inherited these three cockatiels. Oh, they're Are they so cockatiels? cute. Yeah, I think so. Good morning, guys. Swings. Are these for adults? Baby size, adult size. I think you'll be then... I think you'll be good, Marianne. So we've got absolutely amazing, beautiful blue skies again today. And are hard to think that it should be cold. It's winter time. They've got this wonderful looking tree here. I'm sure this could tell a story or two from days gone by. I'm really loving Baja. I know we've literally just got started, um, but it's very, very beautiful here. And uh, this was definitely a good find. And they, uh, they opened this um, for overlanders because they're overlanders themselves and uh, wanted to give somewhere a little, people a little bit of an oasis here in Baja. And look, they've even got a lovely toilet block that they've, uh, that they've recently made. It's just so lovely. A little composting loose. Yeah, what a wonderful place to wake up to. It was well worth the journey. Have you seen the size of this chicken house? This is a seriously... Isabel. Isabel is the owner here. <laughs> Your hair is beautiful, Isabel. Yeah, and what I want, this has to be the best chicken house yeah. I've ever seen. And, and it's for nine chickens. It's like wow. A it's like a palace. I love it. It's beautiful. Yeah, they've got avocado trees. You've got grapefruit trees. You've got mango trees. Mm -hmm. Any other fruits? 
banana trees, oranges, grapefruit, oranges, pomegranates, pomegranates. Oh my goodness. Mandarins. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Living the dream off grid here. Yes. That's for sure. I've also got this wonderful fire pit, which they, uh, they light every night. So we'll uh, definitely have to sit there and chill out one evening tonight. Apparently there's a, uh, a veggie patch and the nearby river apparently is very beautiful. A little bit of paradise up here in Baja in the mountains. So we thought we would go and check it out while we're here. And check out the size of this cactus, look. Is that not mad? Wow. So this is the orchard that they regenerated. You can hear the lawnmower. Clarence is busy over there with the lawnmower. Never ends. It's a big bit of land to look after. And uh, just down here, there's a, an amazing vegetable garden, which uh, he lets people that are staying just come down and pick bits. It actually reminded me of home. Uh, we used to have a really good veggie area and having these other flowers here to encourage the pollinators to come. Oh, and it was beautiful. But what was really lovely is walking through his veggie garden and being able to identify some of the crops. But the butterflies on these flowers are amazing. Look at them. Wow. Check this out, guys. There's like sand and there is water in the river. I didn't expect to see this behind the campground. That's for sure. Temperature test. Is it cold, Marianne? How come I'm the guinea pig? <laughs> oh yeah, it's cold. Freezing. Not freezing, but it is cold. Bearing in mind the temperature outside is in its 20s. <laughs> oh no, this is lovely. Everyone said Baja was a desert, a dry desert. And look, this river is still flowing. And they, we haven't had any rain since we've been in Baja. But look at that for a backdrop. That's amazing. There's just a herd of cows that have come down to have a drink from the river. How beautiful is that? What a wonderful spot to come and hang out just right next to the place that we're parked up. I'm very pleased though that we're this side of the river and it's going down that way because one of the cows just had a big poo in the water. So <laughs> I'm very pleased I'm upstream. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. The sun is shining down. Um, although it's January, it's still warm. It's mid twenties and uh, it's definitely worth coming off the beaten track off get away from the coastline and the tourists if you want something different and come up and head into the hills beautiful hikes lovely rivers and uh, it's just a great place to hang out we just bumped into clarence and uh, he said that in the winter well in rainy season this riverbed gets two and a half meters deep it's hard to believe that this during rainy season would be all be crashing down with water that's wild, that's taller than you. It's taller than me. Okay, so we got a whole kitchen thing going on here. Marianne's cooking, it's an unusual sight. It's an unusual event. <laughs> And we have we have a group of guys here that we are having fun. Hey everybody! And we've got a new visitor turning up, Tom. <laughs> Some of you may recognise him from Eva's video uh, going up to the Arctic Ocean. And uh, we're we're just hanging out in this wonderful spot. We've got the barbecue going. Clarence has written the lit the barbecue. Our host with the most, Dominique. <laughs> who's uh, also staying in the site. So we're having a bit of a party tonight, which is fantastic. And uh, Clarence has bought the best looking lamb that we're gonna shove on the barbecue for us meat eaters. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's all good. Oh, we got the barbecue lit. We've got a lamb stack, the tomatoes are grilling. It's looking good, guys. Good. <laughs> hey, enjoy your dinner, guys. Yay! <laughs> Thank you.
What a better way to end the day than a nice fire. Is this not cool, people? As good as a gift. It is a gift. <laughs> and whilst we are here hanging out with like the coolest people on the planet we've met this lovely guy called tom who is on instagram as touring underscore tom and we've given him a Tread the Globe sticker to stick on his epic rig. All right. Look at this. <laughs> it's got to go on the wall of fame. On the wall of fame. Look at that. Like, where's it going? You have an epic rig. <laughs> and you made it all yourself. I did. Which yeah. is like even more epic. <laughs> it was Yay! a good, good project to keep me busy for a while. That is lovely. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you and we are going to have to hang out some more in Baja, California. Woo! Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, thank you very much for your keeping us entertained. I uh, know, it's all you guys. It's all you. <laughs> Vilk, we're going to miss you, but we will see you in a couple of weeks. Yay! A few weeks, we'll see you. See you on the road. Bye.